Let's move on to Saints, Seahawks. The total opened up at 44 and a half. It's been around there all week. There are a couple 45s. Seattle opened up minus five and a half. Down to four and a half. Now there's fives on the board. Again, it, there were fours on the board at one point. And, you know, Saints are still a good football team. And, and I think that Sean Payton can create a game plan to play to Teddy's strengths. I know that Alvin Kamara is going to get a ton of touches. And we know that Seattle's offense is just Russell Wilson, but Seattle's a very, very tough place to play. I was leaning towards the Saints and the under, and I'm not, I haven't pulled the trigger. Seattle 15 0 in September home games since Carroll took over in 2010. Saints pass rush has produced nine sacks through two games. Donnie, right side, Saints, Seahawks. Hey, I'm, tr I'm trying to factor in, like, because I, I saw it open up five and a half, five. And yesterday, even out of, like, DraftKings and FanDuel, there was actually a four showing on Seattle. And I was so close to pulling the trigger. But I just took a step back and I said, you know what? Let me see some more practice reports, see what I get out of it. Because looking back at the tape with New Orleans, and forget about the games, you know, with Drew Brees, a quarterback. What did he play? Maybe a quarter in that football game. Teddy Bridgewater looks like he's just stealing money in the NFL. Like, he's not even giving them a chance to even move the football. He was brutal. They paid that guy a lot of money that I hear, well, he came in cold this week. When you're getting paid like $10 million a year as a backup, you can't come in cold. And it's not a guy that said, you know, I've never started in the NFL. I'm really green to this or in a really tough environment. The only Coliseum isn't all that tough of an environment to go in and play into when you talk about crowd noise. So now I'm led to believe that maybe we're going to get a look at Taysom Hill, who's like Tim Tebow Jr., a quarterback, and mix him in with a little Teddy Bridgewater. Where are the points coming from? And also, let's not forget when we take a look at the Seattle side of the football, they'll be okay in the secondary. One of the best linebacking cores in the NFL. And oh yeah, how about this? Jadavion Clowney now plays at defensive end. And you know who's coming back this week? Ezekiel Anza, another elite pass rusher that's going to come after Teddy Bridgewater and Taysom Hill. I'm only going Seattle or nobody in this game. I understand if you're going to be sharp and hey, they're going to get the ball to Kamara 35 times in this football game. The Saints now on the road getting a dose of their own medicine back-to-back -back road weeks. You go in to play to L.A. You know, you're not really built for the grass. Now you go up to Seattle, which is a turf game, which you're used to. But now instead of you having that major advantage at getting off the football, now all of a sudden without Drew Brees making all those calls up front, Teddy Bridgewater is not going to be able to hear anything. And is Taysom Hill going to make the right checks at the line? Seattle or nobody in this game for me. BG Boy says, bet your 401k on the Seahawks money Ooh. line. Wow. Whale capper, Saints, Seahawks. Yeah, we're going to retire twice. <laughs> uh, this is huge. <laughs> um, okay, so I backed the over in this spot. I'm expecting that, uh, and, and a lot of it was just based on this is, that the Seattle's going to score their points. Seattle's going to make their team total. They, their floor is probably about 28 in this game. Uh, and I look, at the, uh, I look at the Saints and I think, okay, well, yeah, Teddy Bridgewater has been poor to this point as a starter for the, for the Saints, but every time he's been put in the game, it's been with the system that they have crafted specifically for Drew Brees. I don't think that he fits that system well. I think with the week of preparation on the West Coast, we've seen what kind of a week away from home, kind of focused, concentrated prep did for the Niners last week. I think you see the same sort of impact this week, uh, and we're going to see some wrinkles. We're going to see some surprises. They're going to catch Seattle a little bit off guard here, and they're going to score some points as well. I don't know if Seattle actually covers or not. It's a little bit of a long number for a team in the Saints who are still expected to be contenders in this NFC I don't believe it myself, but they're still expected to be. Uh, and they have some, you know, they have some diverse weapons in the offense, you know, with you know, Michael Thomas and, uh, and uh, Alvin Kamara. So they're still going to be able to move the ball. They're still going to be able to score points in this one. So I backed to what I thought was a pretty short over. Uh, and I think um, I think this is a pretty high scoring type of contest. The Seattle Seahawks just in general, I think, are fooling some people because they're running the ball a lot. But. Uh, with the, one of the top five quarterbacks in the league and with a defense that's a little suspect. Uh, this is a team that I think plays to overs more than they play to an under uh, as we move forward here in the NFL.